Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for the online demonstration of the Vocal Scientific Platelet Incubator Agitator. This is the smallest of our platelet incubator agitators. It can hold 6 to 12 apheresis bags. And I'm going to give an overview of the unit first. I'm going to be moving the camera around, so if you get motion sickness, you know, take your Dramamine. Just kidding. I think it will give you a really good perspective of all the nice benefits this system has because we designed it to, to be on the forefront of storing platelets. We'll go through uh, the incubator, then the agitator, and then if you have any questions, just feel free to type them into the chat interface on the online demonstration window, and I'd be happy to answer anything about the battery backup or the inventory management system or the printing. You know, just feel free to type away and uh, we can get going. So I guess I'll move the camera right now. To give you a walk around on the unit. So in the front of the unit we have a 7 inch color touchscreen for uh, controlling the system. We have a thermal printer and this prints out your temperature log and your event log. We have a USB port. This USB port is for downloading the uh, temperature log, the event log, and for uploading firmware if there's ever a firmware change uh, and for any type of service. So it's multi-purpose. Uh, out around the side, we have a nice handle for actually lifting the unit up uh, when you're placing it. We also have our communications. This is an RS-232 and an Ethernet communication. So if you have some type of building management system or alarm system that you want to hook this into in your building, you can do that. We use the uh, standard protocol, so it should be easy for your IT department to interface that with uh, whatever external hardware they need to. Uh, we'll walk around to the other side. And here we have our off-on switch with our fuse and all of our safety markings. Uh, we have a fan up here and this fan actually is for venting the enclosure. This system does not use a compressor and I'll go into how it heats and cools because it's rather uh, advanced and it's a little bit different than what's out there on the market but it's extremely efficient. Um, here we have our agitator it is rotating at about 60 RPMs. Uh, it uses a uh, dual axis agitation. We found that uh, in dissolution studies, this actually uh, increased the mixing capability of the unit rather than going side to side. Uh, at, when we open the door, we can see that the agitator stops. We also have a switch in here in case you want to start the agitator back up. In the back of the unit, we have our power connections and our communication to the agitator. Uh, with, if the agitator were to fail, say it turns off and it's supposed to be agitating, a signal would be sent to the control system and it would create a, an alarm. Uh, there is also a door alarm, so since this door is open right now, it's okay, but if it were to stay open for an extended period of time, uh, an alarm would occur and maybe that'll happen while we're, we're working with it. The shelves uh, slide very nicely, very easy to use. They're fully removable with these little pins right here. All you have to do is pull the pins out and they come right out. And then this is how you would power off the agitator. There's also an indicator light on the power button for the agitator. So if this is stopped for some reason and this light is on, you know that there's an issue. It's just a secondary warning system.